let's go back into edit mode let's just move in close and edit mode select this whole round part p on the keyboard selection so we have a new plane i'm pushing this here instead of going into edit mode and you know and so on so let's go into the third part we can go into edit mode for this so let's see the right side so we can actually make this roundish face so select O, E for extender, move into the Y axis, like that. Let's go into the front. We will need this stretch tool here. First of all, let's just bring it in like this. So I'm following this side. As you can see, it's actually not matching on the other side, so it's okay. So, so good. Extend again, and this time push S to stretch. So we're going to stretch in till we reach this part and now let's just drag it in for this round part i'll select these points and i'll just select them like this make sure you select this two here for move and we can just start moving them let me fix first the bottom uh we'll select half of this and we'll say delete and we delete the faces and then bring the mirror in okay first for a start just move the mirror to the top and let's see okay that looks okay let's move out of edit mode let's see what we have here okay that's cool Let's go to the front again, move in. Let's go back into edit mode. Right now, control R on the keyboard to make a loop cut. I'll make one just here. Select this edge. So make sure in edge, select this edge, push E for extender, and let's just move it down. Oops. Make sure you push Z so that you just move uh, down, like directly down. Remember to save. Select these and just start moving them in this axis to create this edge here control r on the keyboard right click and then make two will be enough i think so let's just drag this out and move out of edit mode so let me just turn off this push the dot on the keyboard to just uh, view this part apply the mirror and now let's go into edit mode double click on this edge s to stretch keep in mind we extended that just don't uh, stretch without e for extender another edge is this one select the whole lot of this push e for extender y and then just move it in so let's move it very close yeah like right there and then push E again for extender uh, Y axis. We're not going to move in too much. That looks good because now we have a sharp edge there. And we can actually select this and smooth shed. And for the last part, let's remove this. Let's just go to this part. Now these two need to meet here. So let's go into the right side. We'll go into edit mode. Let's just zoom in close and select this whole edge. S to stretch it, E for extender, and then just click right here. Then E again for extender, S to stretch, and let's just stretch it in. Then push tab. Let's see what we have. So we get this edge. right there and this is why it's so hard for me to see it i was in the shaded mode oh my goodness if i select this going to edit mode i can actually fix some of these parts let's uh, go to the right side currently it looks like it's all the corners okay let's get this one instead and stretch it
uh, oh my goodness look at what I just left out edit mode okay so let me select this whole edge e for extender select uh, this edge and this edge e for extender and okay let's move closer point mode select this to that so this one goes to the last okay let's move this side so this one has to go to this one alternate m to the last okay select this to that alternate m to the last this one to that alternate m voila so that has been fixed let's turn on this oh my goodness that would have been a disaster now for the screen let's just move in get this one edit mode we're moving close what i'm looking for is this second edge so just double click on this edge so it selects a loop going around p it creates a new layer and then go into edit mode for this one the idea is i just want this so i'll select this one invert selection oops my bad so i'll invert the selection and hide everything else apart from the screen of the phone so let me just move in front and now i can go into edit mode so the idea is now to fill in the uh, into these spaces so we need a good topology here's what we're going to do we'll work on one side and then mirror it select this this four points and then push f to fill if i get this one one two three four f to fill Control r on the keyboard and let's just bring it down let's do this so i need one two more so the ones i'm going to make now will be in the middle here right click and then just make two and now select the one two three four so what i figured is if you go clockwise it actually helps to keep your faces facing the right direction if i select these and delete vertices and i get the mirror now mirror let's put it on top make sure it comes first and then the subdivision okay so let's go to the front these two points are not meeting that's the reason why we're actually seeing this make sure in face mode select these two faces delete faces let's go into point one so f to fill that and then so you select these two, F to fill that, and then let's subdivide. It will create a point right on the middle. And then now if I select one, two, three, four, push F to fill. Same thing, one, two, three, four, F to fill. And there we go. Go into edit mode, select the whole edge all round. E for extender and then we're moving in the y so make sure right there click y again and oh e for extender and y again then right there that looks okay let's get out of this mode and let's turn on everything else so select this go into edit mode select all and shift n let's fix all the i feel like it was actually acting up 
So select this smooth shade. Select this smooth shade. So make sure they are they are all smooth. Well, we have the outer shape of the form for a start. Okay. I like this. Looks good.